during our ROG Z97 lineup, we have Maximus 7 Jing, Ranger, and Hero. And the Maximus 7 Ranger is our new member to the family. And why do we have the Ranger? That's a very good question. The reason is to have the Maximus 7 Ranger is because in the past, the ROG motherboards are usually focused on the more high-end motherboard markets. And a lot of the mainstream gamers, they really love to use the ROG features. And that is why we decided to design a gaming motherboard that is for mainstream gamers. In the Z97 ROG motherboards, we have three networking features. The first one is Intel LAN. And the reason we choose Intel LAN is because it has uh, more throughput, lower CPU usage, and it's more stable. And the second feature is the new LAN guard LAN port. We have worked with our vendors to redesign this module, so it has SMT components and also ESD guard circuits inside this module. Also, the third networking feature is the Game First 3. We have worked with our wireless team to develop the Game First 3 gaming bandwidth. In this generation, we have worked with our ASUS Design Center, the designers, to work with them, and we wanted to have a brand new look. As you can see from the Maximus 7 Hero motherboards, from the edge of the PCIe slots and also the memory slots, we have removed the white colors and make it pure red or pure black colors. And also, as you can see, from the thermal module design, we have embedded an LED lights into the heatsink. So the entire nameplate is a plastic lens, it's going to glow. And also, if you look carefully, we added the red drawings around the VIM zone and around the PCH. So um, this is the first time you, you see it on the motherboards, and this is really beautiful. So for this generation, we actually bring out three kinds of tough series motherboard for the users. Uh, two ATX form factor boards and one micro ATX form factor boards. Which one is the uh, separate to Z97 Mark I and Z97 Mark II, and also the Griven Z97. We are the only one motherboard makers that have actually have a back plate on the, for the motherboard. The material we use is the metal one. So if once you put it on the back of the PCB, it could dissipate the heat even quicker and also uh, prevents the board from bending because the VGA card sometimes could be quite heavy. Even for example, when you install plug in one VGA card or two VGA cards, the, bend, the board might bend a little bit. So it will help fortify the overall strength of the motherboard itself. For the Z97 platforms we have for this generation, we have from deluxe board to Pro with Wi-Fi and Pro, and then uh, Dash A, Z97-A, and also a mini ITX board for the Z97 platforms. And overall, the main functions we've tried to de deliver this time is the five-way optimization. And the five-way optimization is actually a combination of five critical elements, which is the Turbo app, the new features for, for the new generations, and also the upgraded Fan Express 3 functions, TPU for CPU performance, EPU for energy saving, and also the digital power control. The Crystal Sound 2 is actually an audio solution that's embedded in our high-end Z97 motherboards. So from the shielding here, you can see that the audio shielding actually separates the signal from digital and analog. And also we have an EMI shielding to better prevent the electrical noises to the audio codec underneath. And then we have the premium Japanese-made audio capacitors here for better range for the uh, high frequency and low frequency audio. And then we have the audio amp right here for to amplify the sound effect of your headphones and speakers. For the SATA Express in this generation, actually what ASUS is trying to deliver to our users is that we not only try to deliver, put the spec on the board, we also want to provide users with the total solutions. That's why we put the connectors. We also provide you with the Hyper Express, which is a SATA Express devices developed by ASUS. So SATA Express device will be available somewhere around June and July this year. So stay tuned.